I am Victor Vargas. Welcome to this Daily Bark. And here we discuss ideas around composing art and life. Martin, for you. Martin, the floor is yours, sir. All right. So we're going to go segue from last week and um, explain my intention here and what I was doing. Um, so I went ahead and put it into the field and I wanted to start getting more sense of depth so I added some more line weight onto the first columns that you see and started getting that feel for the push and pull so the depth mm -hmm. um, and then I added the line on the bottom just to thicken it out kind of separate it um, <coughs> I believe I achieved my intent on this one because it, it's good. I'm getting ready to get to the next layer, the uh, value layer. So it's getting, I like where it's at right now. And you're kind of actually touching on the value layer with the line weight. Yeah, that's like in between there. Of like, get, it's there. <laughs> Move to the next layer. Um, so. Nice. The two moments that really caught me it was really just caught me about the composition is when I started realizing that every line has to make sense. And if it's not tight, just a simple line that's out of place or just doesn't look right can completely change the whole composition. And that was something that I always just like kind of baffled by like that was not something I was aware of before you know it's just kind of just get and go and it's I've never taken this long on a piece of work ever usually you know it's only like a day or two and I'm done you know but I'm, you, you want to say that again to Anna huh you, you want to share that with Anna again that 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 uh last comment oh that it's not a day it's not done in a day <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day <laughs> uh yeah but that's you know that's what it's i'm coming to the realization that it, it's it's a lot of work you know i'm not and i'm not just putting in like a bunch of hours into it i'm, I'm just chipping away and chipping away and chipping away and, and it's I'm, I'm learning a lot so that's that's probably the greatest thing about composition that i'm learning right now is it's 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 fun it's awesome it's very cool. So do you want to have any comments about this one? Do I have a comment? Yeah, I got a comment. <laughs> so like, how you have the, um, get my tools up here. Uh, let me make sure you, I have that uh, put on at the end of the tape. Uh, disabled, yeah, okay. It's, it's there for you there, Bill. Where I don't see it. Um, At the bottom, screen share, invite participants. I don't see my tools. I think you have to click under options or the more button or something. Uh, I'm not seeing that. Uh, hold on. Well, I'll do it without that. I'm just saying we have the the arts here. And I see how you have the, the you're you're shifting the the value in the columns, but the art the arts is aren't for me working in the same same flow. I I think that would make it that would really make it um give a greater impact. You mean say that again, Bill? I didn't. So you're like, okay, see, so, so you have the columns, right? The first column, the closest, the one is closest to us. Yeah, correct. It, it has a value, you know, from left to right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and then, but then as you go up here, see that for me, mm. the fact, the values of these are almost the same. And I know you're getting lighter as you go deeper, but the transition is not harmonious. Is, yeah, I need to bring the arcs need to go a little bit darker, right? Yeah. From the first two, maybe three. 
Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not harmonious with what you're doing on the pillars. Or, or you would reduce the value of the pillars. Yeah. Yes, right? we could do either way. Which would allow, if you go darker with the arches and the pillars, then it brings more shape into it, for, you know, shape, let's call it, into the image. And if you lighten it, it'll bring more air into the image. So you can go either way. There's not a wrong or right answer. It really depends on what it is that you want to communicate. You know, if you want to focus more on the sound, you might want to bring more air into the image. Um, if you want to focus more on the sanctuary feel, then you might want to bring more shape into the image. Gotcha. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. And obviously, you can do two images and uh, figure out which one you like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you can compare them. Let's take about two days on each one, see what happens. Yeah. That's cool. Before we move on, anybody else have anything to say on this one? Uh, yeah, uh, Victor, hi. I had a small question. Uh, Martin, mm -hmm. what, what is the root uh, which you used in this one? I believe that's the root five. Root five? I'll go back and check, yeah, because the other one I believe is root, or no, just five. Okay, all right. Thank you. Okay. I was going to ask, uh, Martin, were you going to do anything with the um, where the columns um, end on the bottom? Uh, we talked about that, and I, I want to bring it into the layers or into the values. And once I get into the values, uh, it's I want to see if it's how much it's going to change and if I want to possibly add that line back in their shoulders so i mean it's really victor told me it's it's up to me but he said he didn't like the shoulders the, the line going in <laughs> oh, okay. well yeah i don't like the shoulders i think you should have the head floating like in the in the other images mm -hmm. um but you can do something either make a, a solid line that's on a diagonal mm -hmm. which gives it more of a floor um, you could even play with coming straight across in horizontals. Um, hold on one second. That's, that's what I thought it was. I thought it was, uh, I thought that was supposed to be representative of like the pathway or the, like a walkway going back. Yeah. So that's actually his shoulder. You're saying. Yeah, that's what we talked. We talked about like a couple meetings ago, and we we're discussing that. And, and Victor's like, "Well, let's see what, without the whole line, and just bring it down." So, I, I, like I said, I want to see what the values do because I might even just bring in, like, I don't want to make this a hard line because, like, again, it's making too much focus on this part. Right. So the focus is the head. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can bring in. Can you see this hor these horizontals that I'm putting in here? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. All right, now they can be a very, very, very light value. Mm -hmm. The value from here to here might not even be a full value change. It might actually just be a half a value. It's something yeah. you have to think about because you're trying to say, okay, well, I'm going to make this darker and it goes lighter as it goes back. Um, you can do that, but the question is, is when, when you get into the value layer, the darkness of this value here versus here, what, how many uh, degrees of value are they apart? You know, uh, are you going to put a, a value nine down here and a value zero down there? Or is it really going to go maybe from a four to a two and is really just going to be about, you know, a one value in between, you know, that you're, you're kind of playing with. Um, so these are, and if you have Photoshop, you can scan this into Photoshop and play with them oh, yeah, yeah. and, and, and get really quick with them. Um, and, and you can play around like that. So I think you, yeah. But again, it, it depends if you want to really start defining the sanctuary area or make it more of an ambiance where you can see what, you know, you can see the structure, you can feel the structure, uh, but it's still, uh, what's the word? Not esoteric, it's still, 
um, translucent almost, right? Yeah. Um, so you could go straight across with horizontals. That, that, that doesn't look too bad. Um, or I think this is probably more of a powerful version. Yeah. Because it's coming to the, to the center, to the, the third eyeball. Um, you know, and, and honestly, I kind of like it with nothing, to be quite honest. I kind of, there's something almost magical about just having this ascension. Yeah. You know, it's almost like rain coming down or, or heat going up. And so there's something kind of neat about that. Uh, another, another thought is that if you look at The Last Supper, he has alternating pounds, panels. Light, dark, light, dark. Mm. Right? And he also has, like, uh, what you have here. Um, I'm seeing, uh, you have this, this potential, as Victor noticed. There you go. Uh, oh, oh, wrong one. You have the potential there of showing the, um, the pyramid effect coming from here. You know, and they're the same on the other side, triangle rather, which which is another one of the motifs that Da Vinci uses in The Last Supper. And he uses these these panels here will be a, a light panel, a dark panel, light panel, dark panel, light panel, mm -hmm. only to, to, to the distant field. Um, I don't know how that would play out with this, but I'm just sharing with you that the, the triangles are... are Diamond element, and you have these panels the possibility of doing something else other than just have a, a gradual gradation. You can have alternating values, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, yeah, that's I feel like the, the, the value layer is going to be really fun because I'm going to have a bunch of options, and I have to, I'll ultimately pick the, the best one that's going to work for what I want. Yep. All right, uh, let's move on to...